Hello. In this video I'm going to show you how to automate disk cleanup. It's very easy to forget to run a simple but important task, so why not run it on a schedule so you don't have to worry about forgetting to run it. Disk cleanup removes unnecessary files from your hard drive. And this includes temporary internet and system files. It empties the recycle bin and does a lot more. And I'm going to begin by going to the start menu. And in the search box I'm going to type in CMD. When the command prompt icon appears under programs, I'm going to right click on it and choose to run as administrator. I know the command prompt can be intimidating to beginners, but this is a very easy command to run and you shouldn't have any problems with it. And I'm going to type in C-L-E-A-N-M-G-R dot E-X-E space forward slash S-A-G-E S-E-T colon 20 and I'm going to hit enter when you run disk cleanup through the command prompt you have a lot more options of files to remove and right now I have all mine checked if you click on each of these you'll get a description of it down here at the bottom and I'm going to click OK I'm going to close the command prompt I'm going to go back to the start menu and this time I'm going to type in task T-A-S-K when Task Scheduler opens under Programs, once again I'm going to right click on it and choose to run as Administrator. When the Task Scheduler window opens, it will show you the status of previously ran tasks. And as you can see, this one succeeded. Next I'm going to go to Task Scheduler Library. And right here it shows you tasks that are scheduled to run. And right now there's only two and they're both Google Updates. So we're going to add to this and I'm going to go to create basic task. I'm going to name it disk cleanup. I'm going to leave the description blank and I'm going to click next. I'm going to schedule it to run weekly, but you can have it run anytime you want. You can run daily, monthly, one time, when the computer starts, when I log off, or when a specific event is logged. And I'm going to click next. I'm going to leave today's date, but there is a drop down menu where you can choose a date for it to start. And for the sake of the video, I'm going to schedule it to run at 1.11, so I can show you how it works. I'm going to have it to run once a week on every Friday, and I'm going to click Next. The action is to start a program, so I'm going to click Next. In the Start a Program window, you have to search for the executable, so I'm going to click Browse. And in the search box, I'm going to type in CLE. A N M G R. When Clean Manager appears in the window, you're looking for the application, and I'm going to double click on it. And here it is right here. Under Add Arguments, I'm going to type capital C colon space forward slash S A G E R U N colon 20. I'm going to leave the start in options blank and I'm going to click next. And under summary, the name of our task is disk cleanup. The trigger is to run weekly at 1.11 p.m. every Friday of every week starting today. The action is to start a program and the program is cleanmanager.exe which is disk cleanup with its arguments. I'm going to check open the properties dialog for this task when I click finish. And then I'm going to click finish. And this is very important. Down at the bottom, I'm going to check the box for Run with the Highest Privileges. And I'm going to click OK. Here's Disk Cleanup. It's ready to run at 1.11 p.m. every Friday of every week starting today. And now we're going to wait for Disk Cleanup to begin to run. I just turn 1.11 and Disk Cleanup has started running. Right now it's scanning for any files to remove. And then it will remove them. And that's how you schedule disk cleanup to run on a schedule through Task Scheduler. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.